Pokina consists of playing cards and a Pokina bowl game. We play center, three in a row, any way you want to go, four of a kind, every card has four of the same cards. We play corners, one, two, three, four. We play what we call Caledonia, straight down the middle, and it's also bingo. Or you can play bingo across, down, diagonal, any way you want to play. It's a very fun game. I came here 10 years ago, and when I found out they were playing bingo, I got right in. And we play every day. It's very much a fun game. We play 10 games, the 10th game where you cover the whole card. And we enjoy it. Thank you. I guess I made one boo. I guess I can't be excused because I will soon be making my 84th birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, Miss Ubri, I forgot about you. You want to come up and say what you were planning to say? My name is Ruth Uber. I'm a pioneer from Country Cane Park. I moved to Country Cane Park in 1955. Wow. Yeah. We were the first ones here. When we found out about Country Cane Park, we were getting ready to buy a home. And someone told my husband about the new park. So the office was on Canal Street. And he went there find out this was everything. And uh, they had everything, the diet, the full plans and everything about the houses, how much they cost. And Mr. Greenup was the realtor. I don't know if anybody remember yes. Mr. Greenup. Yes. And uh, he picked out a house. This is our first house. And uh, <laughs> we bought the house. But here, there was nothing but grass. They was just building the golf course. Mm -hmm. There was no streets or nothing. It took us two years for them to fix everything up. And then the houses were prefab. Mm -hmm. So from 1953, we didn't move in until 1955. Mm -hmm. But when we moved in, in our block right here, because it was from here, down to Mexico, that's where they started. And then they went around. Wow. And uh, in our block on Dubois Drive, when we moved, it was only five families. Mm -hmm. But we introduced ourselves and we got along real well. Then the block filled up and Dutch Boreal, our black male, moved in our block. Then after he bought a house on press, a bigger house. The kids grew up like one family. They all got to with the, the, the elder people, they would tell them what to do. You could tell my child, do this, do that, and they had to do it. They grew up to be five young men. Then they all went to school. Well, first we had to go to church, <laughs> St. Gabriel. And when we went to St. Gabriel, we had to sit in the back. And we couldn't go to communion. We had to just sit there, and they had to bring it to us. And then uh, one of our friends, she was very light, and she said, I'm not going to stay in for this. So she said, the next Sunday, she wasn't sat in the front. They didn't know the difference. <laughs> 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 Then after when I didn't drive, but once I learned how to drive, we went to St. Paul, and that's where the kids went to school. But the kids all got along in the neighborhood, and no matter what they did, you could tell them, and they would listen. And we had one man in the block. He didn't have any kids, but he loved all the kids. 
and he would come down the street, because we didn't have any transportation. We didn't have no buses. We had to walk to the highway. And that was a mess, because the people that was living up there, they didn't want us walking through their subdivision. It was a long time before we got transportation. And what we would do was, if you was going to the highway to the grocery, you had to find out if anybody else needed to go, or you would stand by the bus stop, and they would pick you up and bring you back until we got transportation. Or you would go across the tracks right here and catch the bus going that way. But sooner or later, when they started putting the streets back here for the southern, then we began to get transportation. But we loved it. We all got along as one big family. Well, then I went to St. Paul. But I want to tell you all about Mr. Mack. I don't know if anybody knew Mr. Mack. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mack was a pioneer. He was a wonderful man. He taught those kids how to be a man and how to be a lady, how to respect people. He had baseball, volleyball, all kind of teams, and girls and boys would come to the park and they would play. Then when they would have the teams, he would be working and the mother would take the kids to play ball during the summer. And I was one of them. I would line them up in the corner. I had to make two or three trips, bring them back and forth. And if they would win the game, we would stop and get them a hamburger. We could get a hamburger and a little drink for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. And until today, the majority of them are friends. They phone uh, Puff Brothers. Every year, they give a picnic. When the ones from away come back, and they just have one big good thing. So a lot of them, they keep in touch with each other. Now we had one of them, he had a stroke. He was sick. They called. Man, this man, that called. They all said, we gotta pray for him. After I come to you, just sit to give you something. Heard us. And what we, some of the things that we do here at Pondy Prime Center. First, my name is Mary Simon. And I am a fitness instructor, a robot instructor, a lion instructor, all the above. <laughs> so I try to share my gift here. Here at Hunter Train Center, we do not sit. As the director says, we move. So we all know about exercise. It is good for you, but you know how good it is. Well, can someone tell me, this part is for everybody that wants to participate. Why do we exercise? For our health. Thank you. And to prevent disease. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Keep our heart Keep our heart healthy. Good. Mm -hmm. Keep our blood flowing. Yes. Mobility. That's correct. Mm -hmm. We live, we move, and our <laughs> and if you're near, if you near an elevator, don't take the elevator. Take the stairs. And if you are, you're going to work, don't try to find the first parking space. <laughs> Wait. Okay. That way you can. You are doing something. Exercise it is moving. It's not how fast you move, you are doing something. <laughs> Alright, so, so you, all, you all see they're doing line dancing, huh? <laughs> Just like all line dancing. I got a video of this. <laughs> We got uh, the fitness instructor doing the line dancing group. Line dancing have uh, some of us uh, who visit and participate in. They, they don't play down here, huh? We have a gospel choir. Uh, uh, there's so much stuff that's going on.
Kusta.